No, right. Let's check. No, right. Everything's in place. Security system's there. No. Oh, there you are. Just in time. Actually, you're a little bit early. Always a good sign. So I'm guessing you saw the ad in the paper? Yep. Security guard wanted. So if you don't know me, I'm Michael. You can call me Mike or Michael. I don't really care. And I am going to be training you tonight. And will I be here in the rest of your shifts? Not likely. You see, I'm the current security guard who is quitting right now. And basically, I'm in charge of training you for your first night. And lucky you, you only need one day of training. After that, you'll all be set for however long you last here. Yeah. Until you quit, of course. That's what I meant by last. On to the basics. So you'll be working from 12 p.m. to 6 a.m. 12 p.m. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm joking. It's not that easy. 12 a.m. is what I meant. Midnight to 6 a.m. Which is six hours... And you get paid pretty handsomely. You know, $150 an hour is nothing to bat your eyes at. I'm sure you're wondering what the catch is, though. And though it's a... It's not a complicated job. Pretty much anybody could do it. It's more of who can handle it. Well, you'll be working as a security guard. And what that means is you will be just sitting here and monitoring the cameras and making sure that everything stays in order. Usually, security guards have to worry about, you know, people sneaking in, stuff like that, and just make sure everything goes smoothly like that. And, you know, that is a part of your job, but there's a special aspect about Fazbear Entertainment. So, the animatronics here have a few coding systems that require them to hunt after any endoskeletons that they find around the establishment at night and put them in a corresponding suit. This is meant as a precautionary method in case one of the animatronics get out of their suit and they need to be put back in so that the other animatronics can do so. However, there is one major flaw in their coding. You see, the builders of the animatronics forgot to account for the fact that we need night guards. It's Fazbear Entertainment protocol to have a security guard. And they also forgot to account for a method in which these night guards can stay undetected from the animatronics that are looking for endoskeletons. Now, normally this wouldn't be a problem, since these animatronics are looking for endoskeletons and they're not looking for humans, but the technology on these animatronics is not very advanced, and oftentimes, or all the time, if they find a human Theoretically, after hours, 
which there should not be any humans out there after hours, they will take the human and thinking it's an endoskeleton, put them where endoskeletons go. Now, obviously, a human going into one of those suits is not a good thing to be done. And nobody wants that. So this is where you come into play. Now, if you look to your left and your right, you have steel doors. The animatronics or nothing can get through these doors as long as they're closed. You can bang, pound, anything on them and they will be all set. As long as these doors are closed, you will be safe from any advance that any animatronic is going to try to do, thinking that you are an endoskeleton. But, of course, it can't be that easy. The establishment has a quota of power that cannot be pushed over. And if too much power is used in a night to keep that quota and to make sure that Fazbear Entertainment isn't using up too much money, the entire system and place will shut down and the doors will open and return to their default state. Now, this would not be a problem as long as the animatronics also shut down. However, the animatronics run on a completely different power source. What I'm saying is the doors will protect you as they need, and the cameras can also be used to find where the animatronics are going. But there will be times that you need to keep the doors open and balance your power to ensure that you don't end up in a position where you don't have any power and the animatronics think you are an endoskeleton. Now, now I know what you're thinking. This seems pretty scary, and it is truly a safe job as long as everything goes to plan. If things don't go to plan... I, I'm sure you will be fine. Like, there is only a small chance that they will actually find you, even with the doors open. And you only have to last till 6 a.m. I know what you're thinking right now. That you don't want to go through with this anymore, and you are wanting to look for another job. But I promise you, for $150 an hour... The risk is a little worth it. Like, I've only worked here five nights and I've already bought pretty much everything on my Amazon wish list. <laughs> You'll be fine. Trust me. And if you need any help with anything, just give me a call. You have my number. And I'll be here as soon as possible. Now... If you get in a jiffy in which the animatronics might have you, in an effort to stay effective, they will not put you into a skeleton or into a suit until 6 a.m., and they will just keep you captive. Now, there is an off button on the back of them and as long as you can have your phone on and ready and call me I can come and turn off the animatronic and keep you safe so what I'm saying is if you're gonna get caught do it earlier in the night because if you get caught at 550 and you call me I don't think I'm gonna be able to come save you in 10 minutes I wish you all the luck on your first night. 
and I'll be here to talk you through some more stuff tomorrow. Stay safe.